loves me this I know. Christian Family Radio with Lydia Laird, This I Know. Good morning. We are Derek and Bridget. It's not just any ordinary Monday here on the show. Actually, it is a it is a packed fun. We are so thankful and celebrating morning. That's what it is. A Vesseluna joining us today, and we are so thankful on your radio tour that you would drop by Bowling Green for the very first time. Never been to the BG. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. I love it here. <laughs> <laughs> All ten minutes that you've been here, <laughs> best time of my life. <laughs> And you're ready to get out of here and go do something fun in Bowling Green. I mean, you were already Googling on your way up here from Nashville. Yes, the Corvette Museum. Uh-huh. I must see it. <laughs> Come on. And are you thinking, of that, that you might like to drive one? I mean, is that in your wheelhouse? Have, have you got that kind of dare in you? You know what? I'm feeling pretty daring today, so yeah, I might. <laughs> have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? College days. So, but you, so not you might anymore. have you might have a heavy foot, so you could definitely, <laughs> you know, go fast in the Corvette around the track. You can just let it go free, girl. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, we're so thankful to have you here, and and just share with us a little bit about what God's doing in your life right now. Man, God is so good. Um, well, first, I just got married three months ago. Wow. Congrats. Congratulations. Yes. And I'm grateful my husband let me come and hang out with you guys. <laughs> you mean he didn't want to get up early and travel? You know, no. He, he stayed in. He got he got extra sleep. <laughs> so you're married. You've got new music coming out. Yes. I got uh, my EP just came out. I have six songs on it. Um, but uh, one of my songs that I'm um, talking about a lot recently is just like Jesus. And so um, I'm really excited about this song. It it really is the heart of Jesus. Mm. Beth, you were sharing with me that um, God, about 18 years old, just there was an incredible experience that happened. You were in worship and you had tucked in your heart a dream that you wanted, but you didn't necessarily verbalize that. Can you just share with our listeners a little bit about that night? Because I think we have, um, all of us have dreams, and sometimes we're afraid to put words to those dreams. Yeah. Well, I completely understand why it's difficult to express your dreams because there's a fear that you're going to get disappointed. Um, But when I was 18... And this just tells you that God knows the desires of your heart. He knows the desire in in every season, what you're hoping for. He, He knows your heart. And so when I was 18, I was at a worship night and, um, I was with my girlfriends and, um, uh, they, the worship band started singing and, and we were just glorifying the Lord. We just loved being in worship and God spoke to me. It, It felt as if he stopped time and said, daughter, this is what you're going to do. Mm. I, I know your heart. I know this dream. I see you. You all, all this time where you think that you're unseen and, and, and your dreams may never come true. I see you. And I have put a purpose in you in my timing. It felt that's, it felt like that's what he said. It's time stopped. And I, I just knew he spoke to me so clearly. And, um, I just broke down crying because his glory and his presence was so powerful. But the thing that I got out of it the most was not only just the dream that he, he told me that he would fulfill, but his love for us is so powerful. I just felt like, man, he loves us Mm. so much. And so, yeah, that's the moment where God changed my life. And I I realized I had a supernatural encounter with him. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And just to feel that love, I I think many of us want to experience that, but your response is so true. You're just overwhelmed with the unconditional, just relentless love Mm -hmm. of God. Going to be hearing more from Aveth Luna, getting to know her and hearing her new song, Just Like Jesus, a little bit later in the show on your Christian Family Radio.